Welcome to my latest video everyone. Beside me I have my CNC 3018 Pro. I've been dialing in my mill speeds and one of the issues I've found is that on my first pass the depth of the mill is not consistent. Here's a piece of wood I've fed through the machine. You'll notice on the left I have a nice half mill uh, cut and on the right it kind of tapers out to nothing. Meaning we're roughly half a mill out of level. To fix this we're going to do two things. First, we're going to loosen off all the bolts on the machine. Um, we'll square it up, make sure we're consistently sitting in the holes because all the holes have a little bit of slack, and then re-square it and tighten it back up. Secondly, we're going to measure the distance between the spindle and the deck and then shim the bearings underneath the deck accordingly. Um, with that said, now let's get the CNC on the bench and pull out our tools. So we've squared up the frame best we can. Uh, we did use the micrometer to make sure we are equal distance um, for the X carriage on both sides uh, to keep our carving square. Um, now we will try and measure um, the four where the four bearings are on the deck here to the spindle um, to see how bad we are out of level. Uh, we're doing it at the bearing locations because those will be fairly easy to shim up uh, if we have anything that's out of level. So here we are with our numbers. Uh, we need a 0.1 shim in the back left and a 0.2 millimeter shim in the back right. I'm going to print them in just square rectangles that we can fit between the mounting bolts and then we'll be able to slide them in and then we will recheck. Given where we are right now, it looks like this is even an improvement over where I was before. Um, that piece of wood I showed earlier showed about a half mil out uh, and we're only about 0.2 out right now. So we're back from the 3D printer. We've printed out a number of shims uh, with the first layer on the printer smooshing into the bed for adhesion. It was actually kind of difficult to get that thickness I needed uh, given that we're going so thin. But I do have a 0.2 in my hand and a 0.1 where the 0.1 should go on the uh, bearings. So let's slide these under. We'll just slide them under there between the bolts and then tighten everything back up and then we will check for level on the top. So we put our shims in behind here, did a quick check and we haven't shimmed it enough. I think the shims are actually compressing uh, once everything's tightened up. So uh, we happen to have lots of extras from printing that are slightly thicker. Uh, so I'll try a slightly thicker set and see how we sit. So off camera I actually ended up shimming it a couple times. Um, it didn't turn out quite right. Luckily I had lots of extra shims from printing. Um, so I was able to juggle them around to get it pretty close. So let's do one final check and see how we sit. I'm still a touch high in the uh, back corner. So I'm going to see if I can shim that about 0.1, uh, which would bring it pretty close in line with the others. And then um, call it good.
So our numbers are looking pretty good. We're with, uh, within a tenth, less than a tenth of a mil, um, which I think is about as good as we're going to get for this project. And for carving wood, it's more than enough uh, in terms of accuracy for what I need. So we're going to do one last check on the deck to make sure it's square. We've done a lot of adjusting with the screws and shims on the back, so I want to make sure we haven't gone out of square. And let's check that now. So we have 28, 9, 3, 9, 4, 29, 0, 5. So about a tenth there as well. So that wraps it up for today. We have our deck nice and level. Um, and we're just waiting on some new bits to carry on with our next project. Uh, this wood it should give you an idea of what the next project's going to look like. We're going to do some nameplates and see how they turn out on the CNC. So if you'd like to see that, hit subscribe. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.